I think we've all had this issue where you're just trying to play Fortnite, you load it up, you're good to go, and then this happens. And you're wondering why, because all you're doing is lagging. You have no good input delay, it's stuttering, it's just a hot mess here. So I got a fix for you guys. I'm going to go over the best possible everything to help you guys out as far as settings, um, even things just to change as far as your graphic display and different things like that that's going to help make your game playable. And actually we have a couple different working methods. I'm going to start with method number one and you guys should do them sequential because the following ones just get a little bit more difficult, a little bit more timely. So start with the working method number one, see if that fixes your, your stuttering, your FPS drops, whatever it is that you have going on, whether it's um, FPS drops, input delay, or stutters in the game. Try step number one, then move on to the following steps if it doesn't fix your issue. For step number one, guys, you're gonna wanna be on your desktop just like this, and what you're gonna wanna do is pull up your Nvidia control panel, the majority, the vast majority of you guys are running Nvidia graphics cards. If you're running AMD, they have similar settings in their control panel. So basically once you have this thing open, you're gonna make sure that you have the proper refresh rate set for your monitors. This may seem kind of basic, but these can be reset sometimes. Just make sure it shows the right uh, refresh rate down here. So the next thing you're going to want to do is come over here on the left hand side, go under manage 3D settings. Once you click on that, in the middle of this window, you're going to scroll down a bit and you're going to make sure it shows max frame rate, 240 FPS or whatever your monitor can handle, depending on what the highest refresh rate is for your monitors. Once you have that, this is going to help your performance if you don't have this selected. I think by default, this one is set as optimal power so make sure this shows as power management mode prefer maximum performance it's going to squeeze out the best performance possible from your graphics card so that's really all that you need to know from your control panel for now so i would just close that out so another really good idea is if you do have any lag or stutters uh, or fps drops is also to reset the cache and cookies of your fortnite game now fair warning this will reset your display settings in game but that can be re-added in like 30 or 60 seconds so don't worry about that too much so what you're going to want to do is type percent followed by local app data so you type all that in to this little search engine down here in the bottom um, and what it's going to do is find this folder so you're going to want to go ahead and open that folder and we're just going to locate fortnite game so um, once you have Fortnite game on there, all you have to do to reset the, the cache and the cookies, and I don't know why this works, all you have to do is rename it, and you can just add any characters. We're gonna add five or six afterwards. You can put any number or character. All this does is it allows the game to basically open it like it's brand new to reset the display settings on your game. All your other settings will be saved, like key binds or pretty much anything that isn't just your display settings. So um, then after that's done, you're just gonna reload Fortnite. So once it's back on, you can click, go ahead and confirm to apply best settings for your system. This happens every time the game is brand new. If you were to download the game brand new, for instance, it'll display that message. Then just hop into Battle Royale and uh, we'll have to fix our settings. Oh, and you'll get the, <laughs> you'll freaking get the cutscenes and stuff. Oh, and I'll try to sell you the battle pass as well. So after that's done, guys, uh, your lobby background will look like this. It's because it's stored in the cache files, but it's fine. Like, don't even worry about that. <laughs> um, then just go into settings over here, and you'll have to change any of these depending on you know what your system thinks that your settings will be. They'll either be on um, on epic or they'll be all the way on near or low so i guess depending on what fortnite thinks of your system whether it thinks it's poop or whether it thinks it's a god computer is what it'll show here now i actually have a poop computer guys so i don't know why it thinks that my stuff is epic but we're gonna go ahead and fix that we're gonna go down here to um, view distance make sure it's like medium um, what you'll want to do for effects actually turn this up to epic um, and then what we'll do is we'll kind of trick your system into multi-threading. It's not really a trick, but uh, when you have effects on Epic, this will actually increase your FPS. 
So um, this usually isn't recommended for low systems, but if you have a strong GPU, this can really increase your graphics card. I would say anything that's at least a GTX 1060 or higher, go ahead and try this out. So do Epic for effects. Come down here to allow multi-threading, make sure that's on. And I would also go ahead and switch on the DirectX 12. It has been known to increase your FPS by doing that as well. You'll probably have to restart to be honest because that um, rendering mode will need to kick in which requires a restart. So actually restart one more time. So you're going to want to make sure your 3D resolution is all the way up at 100%. But after you have all those settings done and restarted and you're good to go, um, go ahead and jump into a game and test out what your new FPS is should be much higher than before. So at this point, this should have helped you guys out quite a lot. It should be at least maybe maxing out on whatever your refresh rate is, depending on your graphics card. I got an older, like a five-year-old, well actually like six-year-old graphics card, and I'm running 240 frames per second um, on these settings. So I, yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. Now, um, I do also wanna let you guys know about the Nuke the big guns. If you're on PC and none of this helped you, then at that point what you're going to want to do, this is a brand new setting, introduce the season, hop into settings, scroll down here, go over all the way till you get to performance alpha. Okay, without a doubt 100%, performance alpha should do the trick. <laughs> there's, a, there's very few cases I've seen on any um, on any computers that haven't really been able to reach the maximum um, that they're looking for on performance alpha so go ahead and switch it over to that restart it again and you should be good to go I, i'm guaranteed that you should at least be running 60 120 or you know uh, 240 just depending on what your graphics card is but yeah guys i hope all this helped you guys out if you guys have any questions comment down below i'm always happy to help try to make your guys' systems run a little quicker. But as always, it's been Cameron, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out for now.